channel subscribers greg here from brisbane australia with very very short video we just received another shipment of uh, sweeteners and before we start cooking and adding them to drinks and cakes and everything that we sweeten uh, things with um, i would like to show what i buy so um, you will understand what's the difference and you know what to expect so the first I guess two would be um, Aristotrol and blend with monk food and Aristotrol. It's a tiny bit different taste and I guess you know if you buy two small packages you may differentiate what you like more. To be honest in the cake and drinks I don't differentiate. Um, my wife uh, likes more blend and I don't mind either way. But the biggest difference is uh, both of them uh, granular right so this is where it's easier to add like to coffees and teas and all of that when we bake we tend to uh, add powdered right so uh, powder is more like more refined like one more like um, caster sugar or more like uh, you know for all the toppings and things like that but to be honest if you if you put them in the liquid they're all kind of um nicely um i know mold and and it's like it's like a sugar it's basically disintegrates in the water and and becomes sweet um liquid you know also people say that you need to taste it they all taste different like monk fruit different from stevia from um uh, erisotrol um i i don't really taste any difference but you know what, uh, if you would like me to organize blind testing, I can basically put in a, in a little cup, in a glass cup, a uh, spoon of each and ask my wife to taste this, maybe someone else, and see what reaction is. But in my books, personally, I think all of them quite good. What is important, I would like to show you again that <clears throat> it tastes like sugar and it's gluten free. Gluten basically it's a very uh, inflammatory substance that uh, uh, in most of the grains so it doesn't have any gluten. Zero net carbs means that uh, most of the sugar alcohols will have uh, some carbs but net carbs will be zero. It means they're not getting digested, they're just passing through the system. It's vegan and now if you, if you uh, follow any diet it's quite important. The most important bit is actually here non-gmo um, you still can buy erythritol and others gmo and it's not really a good idea because it's come from uh, corn starch and others so um, i would not even even i don't want to explain about this but that's uh, one of the most important labels that uh, company respectful company um, says and claims they're not gmo right and low glycemic impact that means that um, it won't spike insulin when you digest it so it's really good when you're fasting if you really cannot live without any sweeteners it's really good but in a nutshell all of them uh, come from the same brand and that's not only brand that i recommend it's a brand that i respect what they do and you know um there are brands like if you've seen my video about um uh protein shakes and shakes in general you can see that even brands that uh, um, send me free samples I'm not always happy what they put in the label if you take label here let's just flip around and you can see um, ingredients here um, it's pure retrotrol right there's nothing else one ingredient if you take this one and you flip it around you can see erythritol, monk fruit and silicon dioxide you know um uh to prevent clumping but it's not harmful substance so you really really can see how ethical and how um open uh with all the statements that that brand is so um so nourished it's actually uh quite um i would say budget brand as well so it's really uncommon to see that uh something that is really affordable yet 
um, I wouldn't claim good for you, but it's definitely not bad for you compared to all other sweeteners. So if you're in the market to buy budget sweetener, I would uh, I would uh, give them a go. I'll put links uh, down below where I buy it. Literally costs cheaper than supermarket uh, price and it's getting delivered within a couple of days to a week. So um, give them a go, you won't regret. I don't see and don't taste any difference between them and sugar. And that brand sells literally almost every sweetener that is not bad for you on, on, uh, on their uh, representation on Amazon if you would like to explore. Otherwise, you know, I'll put all links in down below in the video description and you check yourself. Thank you so much for watching and it just got delivered today. So before it's getting consumed, I wanted to shoot a quick video to show what it is. Thank you for watching, Greg from Brisbane, Australia. If you like this video or any other videos, please hit like, subscribe if you're new to my channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my future videos. Thank you, until next time.